Can we get through this? <laughs> okay, we'll get started with Adrian in the middle there. Frank, how satisfied are they? Yeah, I'm pleased. Pleased. Uh, finishes a, a period, you know, international break coming, and the last international break we went into off the back of dropping two points against Sheffield United, which we have to take our own responsibility for. And um, today was the opposite. We're on. We're in pretty good form. Short-term form is good, um, and I wanted to finish strong. So that was the team talk to the players, and they they carried that out. And it was uh, a relatively comfortable afternoon in the end a tough place to come if you're not at it and uh, I thought our performance was generally very good what pleased you most today? well I didn't think we started that great to be fair and um, what pleases you is when players stand up and, and have moments that, that you know give you a bit of control of a game I mean you talk about Tammy's first goal incredible goal to, to get the purchase and the, uh, the contact that he got on uh, the ball to, to obviously get the goal and, uh, and then Mason steps up um, and, and then I think in the second half, getting over the disappointment of a couple of sloppy moments, which then seeps into the game, which we, we need to look at. We can't do that. We can't offer up opportunities for teams to get back into games. But other than that, generally, I thought we were comfortable. We, we managed the game well and, uh, and saw it out and possibly could have scored maybe one or two more. Is that, is that all about confidence, that goal? You know, the confidence to do that? Is, that in? Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I think so. I think it's, it's confident. You know, you, people, you talk about when people are in good form, um, things happen for them, or, or you know, they generally have moments. And, and for me, that comes for how Tammy has handled himself all season, from the early moments pre-season and the start of the season, where people were questioning him in, in different ways. Um, the work ethic behind the scene uh, that gets him in such good nick that um, you know he's not not just an incredible handful for defenders. He's running them, he's holding the ball up, he's controlling it. He's got good feet. He's getting his goals, which is um, which is brilliant for him. It's been a brilliant week. For him, isn't it? With the England call, his birthday, first Champions League goal, you know, yeah. goes from strength to strength, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, and, and that's great. And, and I, I trusted in Tammy uh, at the start of the season. I, I felt it was his time to come back to Chelsea. I know people talk about the circumstance, but he also has Oli Giroud, who's a, who's a World Cup winner. He also has Batshuayi, who's a who's a top-class Premier League striker, in my opinion, as well. And he's made the position his own in the short term now. He has to keep that going because competition is key. And over the course of the season, we'll need everybody. Um, but he uh, he's deserved a great week. He's had his deserved a great start to the season uh, that he's had. And uh, I'll keep on him because I want more. <laughs> so he did easy work, right? didn't come off? Yeah, it's fine. He, he took a bang on the back of the knee, but I think he wanted a, a round of applause. So. <laughs> <laughs> the, um, you talk about the things, the sloppy moments, that, uh, uh, I'm assuming you mean at the back there, Frank. Mm. Those are the things that you, uh, I know you can go on the positive, but you have to mm. work on those yeah. weaknesses as well. What were you... What concerns you most, really? Well, the fact that we, the, the, that we let someone stroll into our box to get the equaliser, it was a bit of misfortune in the end, but we switched off from a throw-in, which is we, we've talked about, uh, and then we offered them up a chance at the end of the first half, which would have made the half-time much more nervy than what it was. Um, so those moments, and, and to be fair, uh, there will be a lot of weeks I'll sit here and say the boys at the back have been brilliant, and they have recently, but you can't afford to give little moments, and that's little uh, pointers for all, for all of us, really, that we... Uh, we're not there. We're nowhere near the finished article. At the minute, the, the benchmark is Liverpool and City, how they play. So we need to sort of cut out those little bits. But does that give you encouragement in a way? You're not the finished article yet. You're still coming to places like this. You're winning 4-1 and, you know, the ingredients are there. It shows that there's a lot more to come, doesn't it? Yeah, it, it, it sort of does because, yeah, the, when you see the, the little things that you feel are a bit negative, that means you've got standards and the standards where you're trying to get to and the players should feel that. We certainly remind them of that. Uh, and, and it's, it can be a positive, yeah, as long as you're winning. You can come away at 4-1, it's much easier to analyse and, and look sometimes at those little negatives, even though they get glossed over. It's important that we don't, because they are the, the percentage, the part that we can really improve. What did you make of Callum today? Yeah, I thought we did well. I thought we did well. You know, great assist for Tammy's goal, great ball. Um, I thought his work rate was good. He was near me in the first half. His work rate of staying tight to the midfield and releasing himself to the, to the full-back. Uh, was all the things that I want from the wingers, um, and he had, you know, could have got his goal. Was looking to run behind people, got in behind quite a few times in the game where he can be lethal. Um, and that's where I want him, you know, as much as he can be, um, and he'll get better because he's had a serious injury. So it's uh, the fitness has been a bit of an issue, and looking after him, and now he's uh, showing that he's getting towards proper match fitness. Uh, the England, how are the England boys all together? The ones that, you know, Mason, Tamori, and Tammy, are they? You know, bonding well, good spirits, and yeah. been much kind of 
jollity about much encouragement from the other players yeah, every, everything the, the balance at the moment is good and that needs to stay and improve uh, and that comes down to those boys a lot of my mates they came through together uh, it's nice to, for me it's great in my position because young players are, when they've got the attitudes that they have got it's, it's great to coach because they want to improve all the time um, but when I the experienced players around them um, and William was a standout one today without a doubt for me he's his work ethic off the ball, it was like almost like, um, you know, if you want to, how we talk to the wingers and what we want from off the ball, we could show them that video of what William did today. Um, and his quality and burst of pace on the ball and what he can do. Um, he's been, the last four or five games, I think he's been our best player. And um, that's a great thing to say when you've got players that are examples on the pitch around these young boys. Right, so guys, we need two more, then we've got to go. Dan, and then we'll finish at the front there. Uh, Frank, sorry for the change of tone of a really positive day on the pitch, off the pitch. Regrettably, the more good chance. Um, we both had our names sung today, believe it or not. When they sung your name, uh, it was a racist chant, and then immediately afterwards, they sung my name for opposing people who sing that chant. Um, you must be very, very frustrated about this. Yeah, I, I, it does go on and on. I watched a game on TV yesterday where I heard s similar stuff from other, you know, on, from other clubs, and no, none of us want it. I've said it before here, uh, completely, and I will always back the Chelsea fans in, ter in terms of how they support us but with things like that then I'm, I'm very much with what your, your point is that we don't want to have chance stuff that is uh, discriminatory to anybody or anyone um, and I think we all need to look at that it's a wider problem than just Chelsea without a doubt um, but it shouldn't stop us talking about it and I, I agree with you Okay, last question at the front then. Eight games and now you're two points behind the City where are you in terms of where you kind of expected you might be when you took the job? Difficult question um, because the expectations are hard to say coming in fresh because we knew there were challenges um, and then you can't always assess where everyone else is going to be and what might happen um, and I feel we're a few points short of where we should have been on performance and that's, that's not saying bad luck, that's just self-critical, there are games you should have gained more points from and that's on us. Um, but I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy that we're in and around. You know the the group that are obviously Liverpool are out on their own at the minute. But at this early stage, we're in a nice position, and it, it should give us um, determination to go away and come back in the same vein. Because the minute you relax in this league, yeah, it can all change very quickly. While we're on a nice fill, the reason we are playing well is because of how hard we're working and how together we are. And if we can keep going with that, then yeah, we'll be challenging right up there. I hope. Great. Thanks very much. Thanks, Good evening. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks, man. Cheers, man.